Hello, welcome to the channel again. Today I'm going to take a short ride and a cruise and take a walk around of my 67 F100 that I just finished a few months back and uh, take it up the road and show you what I've done to it, some of the stuff it has, and uh, I'll start with the before I start here with the engine. Don't mind the bugs. I went to a cruise last night and uh, got a few bugs on it. So. So under the hood, I have a 14, 2014 Coyote with a six-speed automatic. Uh, I made custom inner fenders for it. Used a, actually a paintable bed liner on them to paint them body color. Uh, of course, have power disc brakes, rack and pinion steering has a Crown Vic front suspension under it, and I used a Volvo electric power steering pump. Has aluminum radiator, cooling fans with shroud. Done the same treatment underneath the hood with the uh, paintable bed liner. This is the original 67 grill. It came anodized. I actually took oven cleaner and uh, took the anodizing off of it and polished it. Uh, it. It actually turned out pretty good. It's not actually not as good as probably the chrome grill would be, obviously, but it looks pretty good for aluminum. Put new body side moldings on it, new door handles. Put gray tint glass in the wings, the back glass, and the, the driver's and passenger's doors. Has uh, American Racing wheels, 20s on the back, 18s on the front. Done the same treatment on the bed. It has paintable bed liner in it. Relocated the gas tank to the back. Has a Mustang 16-gallon gas tank sitting between the frame rails have led tail lights and turn signals and uh, put a custom steel roll pan on the back instead of the bumper and of course there's a side shot with the body side moldings the exhaust on it is a two and a half inch stainless it has stainless polished stainless mufflers polished stainless pipes those tips on the outside there or off of a Corvette or for a Corvette. I found those because they tuck up under there a little closer and I put those on it. Uh, put a new trim panel on the tailgate, new tailgate handles for a uh, Bronco. That's why it comes stainless instead of Ford. New tail light surround pieces. Uh, on the inside, I have custom TMI seats bucket seats this the seats were actually ordered the dash pad was actually ordered also that's tmi product the uh, headliner i'd done myself used the original headliner and just put some padding on it and covered it covered the trim pieces that surround the headliner uh, the center console i made myself has a uh, six-speed shifter out of a king ranch ford Put the cup holders, that, that trim pieces out of a Lexus car around the cup holders. And just as a factory look option, I put the clock in. That was just a clock that I bought off of Amazon, a 12-volt DC clock. Uh, billet steering wheel, chrome steering column, tilt wheel. Uh, has Dakota digital gauges. It even it even actually will display the gears on it. Uh, I've changed these knobs and put billet knobs. This is the air conditioning and heating knobs on this side. 67 was one of the few years that didn't have them in the center. It's kind of a one-off truck model cab. Uh, of course, put a new windshield in it. The rear view mirror and bracket is for a Mustang. Uh, I found that online because it was chrome and uh, the original one was just a painted one. So I got that for that. But there's a, there's a look at the headliner and the console. Of course it has a Mustang gas pedal, Mustang brake cover on the brake pedal. Made custom kick panels on each side. Excuse the, the dirt in the floor. Like I said, I just went to a cruise last night in it. So made a surround piece behind the seat 
to fill it in, put speakers in the back of the console. This truck, I don't have a radio in, but I do have a Bluetooth amp and uh, because I listen to a lot of serious radio, so I really don't have a use for having a radio in it. But uh, the door panels on this, this is the original door panel of the 67. The difference being there's no armrest. And this truck didn't come out with armrests, believe it or not. The panel was just solid. So I, that's why I incorporated these leather straps and put rivets through on them to hold them up. And I double strengthened here on the, the leather part for a pull. So that's that's a look at the inside. Just a real good truck. You can see the doors are all original. Nothing, no rust underneath the doors. Had done very little body work to the truck as far as Bondo filler, that type thing. So really a really a solid truck. All right, let's get it out of the garage here and we'll take it up the road and show you how it runs. All right, let's start it up and go for a ride here. digital it actually displays that I am in drive now so if I put it in reverse neutral it's a, it's a really nice setup obviously not cheap but it's a really nice setup for aftermarket gauges all right we're on the road I brought my granddaughter along she's done a little video for for me today, so, so I don't have to hold the camera and worry about driving. One thing I failed to mention, the truck has an independent rear suspension out of a Lincoln Mark 8 and uh, really makes the truck ride good. It, it rides pretty much like a car, sits on the road good also. So.
this truck to the street rod nationals in Louisville and I averaged about 20 and a half miles to a gallon so it's really economical as far as, as fuel economy plus has a lot of power <laughs> you know it'll, 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 it'll run with pretty much anything out there it's not a, maybe not a twin turbo or a, you know a, a blower style motor but for a, for a stock motor it's Disc brakes front and rear. Used a Corvette master cylinder, and the, the Corvette master cylinder I used doesn't require a proportioning valve for the brakes. And, uh, I don't know whether any of you guys have used any of them or not. But it come from Speedway Motorsports. And that's what they recommended, and we put a smaller booster on it because I was able to get to get it away from the, the Coyote motor. As you know, the Coyote motor really fills up the inside of the truck's engine compartment so you don't have a lot of extra space to put a lot of extra accessories around so I smoothed the firewall and then cut out just an indention for the coyote or for the uh, brake booster and uh, it sort of recesses back in the firewall just a little bit and then put the Corvette master cylinder on that worked out real nice got real good brakes on it pretty much lock up the wheels, I guess, if you had to stop the wheels. have a 68 Chevy short bed. I know you Ford guys don't hear that, but uh, so I need to do a little bit more work to it. But this truck is pretty much ready as far as I'm concerned, done and finished. And so at that point, there's not too much else to do to it unless I add something to it, and I really don't know what I would add. I've got, like I say, i got the good gauges and the tilt wheel and seats in the console there's just not there's just not much left that I would want to do to it. Probably what I'll do is just uh, if I don't sell it I'll probably just hang on to it and start on getting the square body finished up. I've already got some videos out on it where I'm starting on it. Hopefully by this winter I'll have it finished up and I'll spray and be ready to cruise it too and then I don't know I'll just move on to the next project. But See right there, we're cruising at about 50.
any of you guys have a Coyote Swap 4 in these year models, leave me a comment below in the video. I'd like to, and maybe even send me a picture of it. I'd like to see it. I always like to see other ideas. The color scheme on this particular truck here, uh, the blue, I hate to say this for you Ford guys, but it's actually a Chevy blue. Uh, it's, it's, it's called a rival blue and they put it on some cobalts and Camaros. It's a, it's a, it's like a, a metallic pearl blue. And the silver on the truck, on the two-tone, is a BMW silver. And, uh, I just like the color combination. It sort of gives it that old school Ford look, something that Ford probably would have made a color on like this, but didn't. And, but it's the updated colors, you know, with heavy metallics. So that's, that's why I ended up going with particular colors and uh, that's that's one thing that really sort of sets the truck aside apart from other trucks and I know some of you guys have used different colors on yours and, and, uh, and there's nothing wrong with stock colors but for me I just like it with it, those particular colors all right we're pulling back in here and put it back in the garage back in the garage here and uh, thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to leave me comments if you have coyote engine f100s thanks